23 spring training schedule. Three, we're expecting a 105 first pitch locally, but we're starting. And here we go. All-star appearance and his first gold glove award. I've always been in park, make it one to nothing quick. And we know how aggressive Kyle Tucker can be. As we see him reach down, grab some dirt, go through that routine again. Gets to eight seconds. So, yeah, his lack of batting gloves and using that dirt as his... That was close. He was right on that eight <laughs> second right there. Look out in the Astros dugout on that foul ball. And it is a coach will join us top of the fifth. Tucker with a line drive into center field and what a way to start. Kyle Tucker is being able to put together a great at bat at the top. Younger brother will be at second base. Shea Whitcomb is the shortstop. David. Now Jake Myers ropes one. That is. So Blummer, what is the protocol? Because we saw it with Adovino using it at all before the first game of the spring to check it out. Brand new mitts at you. You're trying to break them in and go play with them. I always played with the brand. It was a little more saltier, older, guaranteed. Last time we saw Chaz McCormick, he was celebrating a World Series there. We didn't play any center field for over a month. This one taps slowly. It's going to be trouble. Trevor Williams. Never underestimate the desire to get it closer to the bag for Chaz allows him to get this base hit. So Kyle Tucker and Chaz McCormick with base hits in the inning and now the designated Harry Hill, a catcher, getting a chance to DH today. If you're wondering this facility with the Washington Nationals, Nationals home team today, possible double play ball, Jeter down. Jose Urquidy, you can see his career, his season numbers for 2020. year old now out of Mazatlan, Mexico, will pitch for Team Mexico, and he gets in on the hands of Lane Thomas, who hits a slow grounder. We just saw him, the former Cardinal, Corey Dickerson, the veteran outfielder, bat second, Jamer Kendall, Nationals lineup. One thing I noticed yesterday, in addition to the game feeling quicker, 2.30 bats here with nobody on and one out. He sends one into the corner and right 81 hitter. And he has like 50% of my notes for every spring <laughs> training game. Yesterday, I think I got to about the adjustment for us. It's going to be an adjustment for the frequency of pitches. And we always anticipated Urquidy would have that quick, have a healthy amount of notes left over that we're going to have to figure out when and where to use. That ball coming off the bat is a little bit different. Astros played a clean game yesterday on Hensley. So now first and third with one out. And the hitter is Dominic Smell in the outfield, but foul down the left field line. Get in. Gets in on Smith there to get ahead. Owen is ready. So the hitters no longer can play that stall tactic if Urquidy gets in that rhythm. Quicker keep the hitter uncomfortable. And... That's one of the things that you'll hear from hitters making control of the at-bat as a hitter. Because you'll see guys like Michael Brantley step out, kind of thing. But these guys are going to have to be in there and be ready. Dominic Smith, his last eight or so spring Mets, 17 through 22. And then non-tendered by the Mets after last season. Only had 158 games. And batted one some injuries in 21. So now he's found himself a home for a team... On the right field line here and behind the stands, you'll see the two fantastic fall from the top for the Washington Nationals scrambling, almost scrambling to put together a roster from the New York Mets. There goes the runner of the pitches ball four seconds. And we saw a game end when a hitter wasn't ready Perfect. Then a game being called on a strike because of the clock and ending in a tie. And the batter can call timeout once per at bat. This is a pop-up foul, and it's going to be out of play. The one thing about the pitcher, you can disengage if you want to go through the signs again, but it doesn't. Although, again, with Urquidy, it really doesn't matter. Ground ball towards first, trying to turn two. Hensley to short for one today. That'll make Josh Miller happy. Pitching coach going to go away for a little while. Well, it's, uh, it's a little more challenging. Uh, you got to get creative. Um, you still got Luis Garcia. You've got Framber Valdez. Is it pretty much the same program across the board for all of these guys? Yeah, you know, Framber's not going to get him in a little sooner than we normally would and get him built up and ready for the uh, WBC tournament. Is that Presley and a Brian Abreu and a Hector Neris today? Yes. You know, all those guys pitching into November, um, short break, and then these guys knew that they had to get ready for the WBC, so they took it upon themselves. Having a solid bullpen, but you're going into this spring with pretty much, you know, you lose Justin Verlander, but your rotation is in pretty good shape. Losing Justin Verlander is not a, not a good thing. It's not a comfortable thing for pitching coach, but, you know, we're well positioned and well suited. Nationals got J.C. Correa to ground out to second, now facing the shortstop Shea Whitcomb. Today with the new general manager, Dana Brown, about the new pitch timer and how it's going to impact pitchers, and it, it's got to have 
A guy like Jose Urquidy doesn't factor in because he's always pitch fast. For, for guys who normally... Dingen will have to adjust and go from there. You know, I think it does. It affected or settled things down in the second inning here. But, you know, I, I'd say that it, it's good. We handled for five, six years. He's still just 24 years old. But give us a scouting report on him and maybe what you want to see from him. And Been all signs positive so far. Jay Whitcomb with a 3-2 count gets called out. Attempts in the third one, either having to get the runner out or being a balk, is, is trying to control the run game as much as possible with limited pickoffs. Yeah, and strategies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting an echo here, and it's... There's a little bit different rink, or whether pitcher could actually have the wristband on? Yes, in spring training, they have it so where the... Uh, the pit No, this guy can contribute and be a big part of our team, and that's certainly what they're looking for from what Urquidy has now, as he is a father, a brand-new father. One month ago, his baby girl was born, so he and Estefania, he said, big feelings. To get awesome. What a winner for Jose Urquidy. Urquidy was going down to second. They took too much time before the batter was coming to the... But Urquidy not phased by it at all. All he's done is thrown four. And he had a pitch up in the zone and missed a couple of fastballs up in the zone. And it looked almost as if the last inning that Arkady with that clock up almost gets a little bit too quick. Although he's working, the body gets going a little bit ahead of the arm. You'll lead with that elbow. And ball with the base is empty. In fact, Arkady threw six straight pitches for strikes, although this Nationals a one nothing lead. Adams, who had five home runs last year, hits one out against him. This is an interesting study. Lance works very quickly with nobody on. And then with run quickly, bases empty and runners on, as Jake Alou will be the batter. They actually played together on a scout league team down in the San Diego, San Diego Connection. And Hensley went to San Diego State while Adams went to the U. Or Akiti in this inning. He won't be credited. Walk a guy with less than yeah, on three pitches. Right. Well, he didn't get phased by right-hander Yoan Adon. 14 starts last and in Rochester in AAA. First pitch swinging is Joe Perez. Sends a high fly ball to center field. Cesar Salazar is the batter. Planned for 17 games. Added another 40 playing now in his second spring training for the Astros and getting a chance to catch today. He's down to the count. It's amazing how fast Urquidy's inning went with three strikeouts and a home run. And now Adon trying to just kind of cool. One two pitch is grounded to the right side. That'll be played by Jake Abu. And Tucker's back in right for him. First pitch swung on, popped up. Could be trouble. Jake Myers coming. Hey, Throughout the course, Lee, another pitch, another way to get guys out. Corey Dickerson swings the run. Or Kitty walked one, but then he struck out throwing in the World Baseball Classic. Presley as well will be a lot of the guys. All the guys playing for their WBC homes as Dickerson slashes a foul out of play. Yeah, really, he is game. And how about the entertainment value that Presley brings into games now? Not hit hard, but that can get to that ball quick enough. Now first and third for Jamer Candelario. Differences of any closer in the game for me. Yeah. What he comes into, that was something that all of a sudden took a big.